Welcome to Julie the Thrifty Designer. Today, I thought I would show you the dessert buffet. I'm setting it up now so you guys have time to see it, and I'm decorating around it so it looks amazing to my opinion. So I'm going to show you what I did. Sorry I'm behind the camera again, but <clears throat> I don't know if you can still hear it, but I have the raspiness in my voice, and I'm coughing, and and I just look terrible, and I just don't want to be in front of the camera. This I was going to try to be, but I can't. So the show must go on, and I'm going to show it to you anyway. So let's get started, okay? Well, what I have done here is I have my three-tier tray, okay? Um, it's for plates or whatever. Well, I like to use it to put my pies on. So what I've done is I went to the Dollar Tree, and what I bought was these dollar uh, little place card settings, okay? And for whatever you want to use it for. Picture frames, whatever. So what I did was I glued on the back from the Dollar Tree, again, those uh, paper clip things that they have. And I just hot glued it to the back. And then that way I can just clip it to the metal tray right here and it'll hold it. So this shelf will be the pecan pie. This will be strawberry rhubarb and I didn't realize I was so high. I'm gonna rewrite that so it looks prettier. But And then this one I just kind of left blank for the moment until I know what other pies are gonna be coming and I can write in what it's gonna be. It might be a, a peach pie. Then right here I have a cobbler and I don't know, I don't know if I'm gonna make it a peach cobbler or if I'm going to make it just a fruit cobbler like I've shown in one of my other videos. And then I have the apple pie and I have the um, pumpkin pie. And this is my other cherry. I've had this setting for the other parties. And now over here I have done some lifts, okay? I just have a simple metal um, tray that I got from the thrift store and on the top there is those round trivets that you can get from the Dollar Tree. And I just simply kind of gave it a couple of dots of hot glue. And then I picked up these plates from Hobby Lobby's and they were half off for my dessert plates. And the napkins I've actually had for a long time. I don't know where I got this one from. It's the only pack I have left of the turkeys. And I can't find them anywhere, more turkey ones. So, but then I have this one, which is really nice. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and with his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good in his love, and his love, sorry, endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. And frankly, that's what thanksgiving is. We're giving thanks to the Lord. And so I have those, all right? And then I have this little thing I used as a lift at Halloween for a flower arrangement, but now I'm using it to put the forks in. And down below, right here on my table, I have just a mixture of different picks. I have the sparkly from the Dollar Tree, and these are the pumpkin guys. And I just simply turned it and nestled it so you don't really see their faces. I'm turning it down. And this one here doesn't have the face on it. And this is uh, the white pumpkin with the pine cones actually came from Walmart. And what I have done is just mixed all these different textures, layers, it's all layers. It's like, these are just actually loose. And I've just kind of stuck them in here. So they kind of hang and then I have the sparkly things. These sparkles come from uh, the Dollar Tree and I have them bent down so they don't just stick straight out. And then I have, from the thrift store, I have picked up green foliage. Well, it's turning browns and stuff. And then I have some sparkles. This came from Hobby Lobby. And, and I've just kind of mixed them around. And then I have a real pumpkin back there. And then I have a lift. It's a candle lift, but it's going to work. Now, it's an empty can of uh, Ready Whip, but I just decided to put it there to show you that now I even have a place to put your whipped cream. And in the window, this will make my grandson very happy. When we went to the uh, Revolutionary War reenactment earlier in September for his birthday, he made that. And I told him we'd have a special place for it. And so I have put it there in the window so everyone can see it. He even made the candle. 
he carved most of the wood. Now part of it was already carved to some degree. Him and I cut the log there. He drilled out the hole to put the uh, um, piece of wood in here. They have an armory there and they burned the holes, crosses in the side. They also made that little sword out of a nail for him and gave it to him. And he just thinks it's the best thing and I agree. I mean, that was a project that him and I kind of worked on together and I think it's great. And it just brings in the family love and how much I just love him. And he's happy to see his little projects that he made because I'm proud of that. He's 10 years old. And he, he really designed that all by himself, his idea and everything. Then from the Dollar Tree, the family, friends and family gather here. It's perfect for Thanksgiving. And unfortunately, if you didn't buy it back in September and early October, good luck finding it. <laughs> and then there's some more of the vases from the Dollar Tree, which I actually used during the fall in the bathroom. And now I've placed them here and just put candles. So I just wanted to show you, oh, and I also have this lift where I just had some kind of Halloween looking things in it. And now I have turned it into sparkly flower, uh, kind of leaves and stuff for fall. Again, but it's a totally different fall look from what it looked like uh, for just my fall look. Now it's the Thanksgiving look. And I know the window is behind and it's very bright and it makes it harder to see. And I'm sorry, I don't have the blinds on this window where I can close it off. And I have my everyday plant back here, which is a Christmas cactus, which I suspect next month it will probably bloom for me. But I got this turkey at the thrift store. I think two or three bucks. I don't remember what he was, but he was cheap. And I went, I'm buying him. So I just put him there. And then I put some nestled, some more of the gold sparklies from the uh, Dollar Tree and as well as more of the... Uh, um, feathers from the Dollar Tree and turkey feathers and I thought it just made it really cute and on the tray below it I just added some fall foliage and sparkles and there's that bobblehead uh, chicken that my husband brought home I had on the mantle uh, and now I have it over here he's moving around and I just think he's kind of cute he just kind of goes with everything so then over here <clears throat> excuse me I have uh, this thing I decorate every time. I always have the vase and my scent warmer on the pedestal and my antique radio. But I don't want to take them all down from there. I mean, it's gonna stay, it stays up here around, first of all, that antique radio is very heavy and I don't have another place where I would put it anyway. So it's just gonna stay. So what I did now was I took out the, uh, actually I left a lot of the branches still in it because it kind of still worked for fall because all the leaves are gone now pretty much from the trees and so I left some of the branches that I had in there for Halloween and I just added more sparkly and things that just looked more like just a fall that would really work for Thanksgiving feel and then I found the sign give thanks and that was at Hobby Lobby's and it was $2.99 and I got it for half price because they had a half price the other day so I stuck it in there because I think it really works very pretty. And it's all basically Dollar Tree and Hobby Lobby flowers and leaves. And some of these leaves here that I'm going to try to get close on right there. That's a beautiful bush. And that I got from the thrift store. And then I have been collecting turkeys now for 25, 30 years. And I can't tell you where I got it from. I've had this one for a very, very, very long time. Isn't he beautiful? Oh, and I have more similar to him. And I'm so glad I was able to get in on the turkeys and things while I still could find them. They're harder to find now. It just seems like Thanksgiving is passed over for um, Christmas decorations. And I wish they would do a little bit more on the Thanksgiving stuff for those of us that really do like to decorate for Thanksgiving. But let's continue on here. Um, there is uh, this greenery right here is what I have up year round. I had it for my just my everyday Tuscan look. I took it into my fall. I used it on Halloween. And now I'm using it for Thanksgiving. Again, I've just used more of the Dollar Tree picks here of the sparkles. And we have a happy face that comes flying down out at me. Nestled in. 
and it just has that beautiful look. And then we have uh, a gold pumpkin, and I have a white pumpkin, and these were clearanced. I got them, um, uh, was that a Walmart clearance? Oh, I can't remember. I'm sorry. I just got them, too. But I'm just, my brain is like tired right now with all that's going on. And then there's a Dollar Tree bronze pumpkin. And so I just layered all the leaves. And again, I still have my Christmas lights in there for sparkle. Oh, I see the ones back here has kind of gone underneath. So I need to pull those out so the light is more to the surface instead of under the pumpkins. And I just didn't pay attention to that. I will get them before Thanksgiving. So it'll all be just sparkling absolutely beautiful. Well, I hope what I have done here will inspire you to decorate for Thanksgiving and make in a beautiful, beautiful uh, look here with your, and practical, you know, you don't have to just throw your pies on a table and say, there you go. You can put them on lifts. And I found this lift at the thrift store and I found this lift at the thrift store. I see them frequently at the thrift store. Now, I don't know if in your areas you will, but I have seen them frequently. So you can find different lifts and just put them on and make them your way. I mean, it's beautiful. Now, I have <clears throat> every Thanksgiving, I usually have between 25 and 30 people over. And so I set up big tables and several tables. But I will be here before too long setting up a, a sample dining room table for you to see early enough so you guys can get ideas. So I don't know when I'm going to be doing that, but that will be probably coming fairly soon. Um, it'll probably be next week, but I'm not 100% sure when I'm doing that. But it will be coming pretty soon. So look for that. Also, I'm trying to give tips on how to decorate and also how to organize so that you have things that people could use and enjoy. Boy, that sun is coming around, making it very difficult to see. But I like it. I think these little clip-ons that I created here made it really nice so that you'll know what pie you're getting. And when people bring pies or if I make the pies, I'll know where we set them when they bring them. I mean, chances are I'll probably just have another pumpkin pie because that's the main one. Anyway, I'm going to just show you close-ups to what I have done.
something else I wanted to show you today that uh, I went into uh, my uh, Home Depot because there was a couple of things I needed to pick up from there. I wanted some spray paint and things. And so they had their clearance of their fall items. And let me tell you, <laughs> I couldn't have timed anything better in my whole entire life. So they had this pick and this pick and this wreath. And that's all that they had left on what I wanted. They had scarecrows, which I didn't I didn't need or anything like that. But I wanted to show you these, okay? And um, the normal price on these, does it say what the normal price was? Um, you know, I don't see it. And I don't know how much the normal price was. I really have no idea what it was but when they rang up because I said I don't know I'd need to have you price them for me because I didn't know if I wanted to get them depending on what they cost even though everything was marked 75% off I thought well it still might be higher than I want to spend I thought well I'd probably get these but it, the wreath it depended on and they rang up one penny each for the wreath and these each three cents but the lady says I can't even sell it to you for a penny she says they're supposed to be pulled and thrown away she says so take them with you I'm glad you can have them give them a beautiful home and so instead of throwing them in the trash she just let me have them she was not even allowed to charge me the penny for them and I talk about blessings from God oh my gosh Thank you, Lord. I, I, I just, I'm overwhelmed with how much I, he just blesses me all the time. And I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. I mean, it's just, they're beautiful. And also, I want to say thank you again to all of you. I have finally made it to over 500 subscribers. As of when I looked just before filming this, I was up to 505 subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you, all of you. You've just literally made my day. I mean, this is truly a thankful moment. So thank you. Please, though, keep subscribing if you haven't yet. I could really use it. And ring the bell so that you'll know when I put out. I'm trying to put out at least three times a week. Um through the holiday season. Uh, it may be more and it might be less just depending on what, what's happening in my life. But I'm trying to do that. And for right now, I don't know if it's going to stay with the pattern, but I'm kind of trying Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. But I can't guarantee you that that's what's going to happen because a lot of times my daughter calls and says, I need you to babysit. And when they're here, I, I can't pub, you know, put out a video. It's just it's too chaotic. But so my attempt is to do it on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays through the holiday season through here. So look for my videos. And again, thank you, thank you, thank you all for subscribing. You guys are the best. I mean, I get the nicest comments from all of you. And please comment with me. I love to talk with all of you. So again, thank you, thank you, thank you. 505 subscribers. I'm so excited. And again, thank you, Lord for my free finds here. Well, I hope this inspires you to just look into what you can do to make your home a beautiful place for the holidays. Thanksgiving is just about my favorite holiday. I guess second to Christmas, but it's almost become a tie. I just love them both so much for their individuality of what they are. And I just love making the things as beautiful as I can for my guests. I just love how this looks. It's practical, yet it's beautiful. So I'm just going to say to all of you, Happy Decorating! And you take care, and God bless.